Hello. I feel compelled to make this short video because I cannot recommend too highly this book, The Shattering of Loneliness. The subtitle is On Christian Remembrance. It's by Eric Varden. Eric Varden is a Trappist monk and the Bishop of Trondheim in Norway. This um, beautiful little book is a reflection on Christian remembrance. Now, let me just set the scene for you as he does so beautifully in his introduction. He tells a personal story of when he was just nine or ten years old and his father, who was a country veterinarian, um, is out visiting a farmer this one particular summer day and the farmer approaches him um, after working in the field without a shirt on and the veterinarian, Eric's father, uh, comments to his family over dinner that evening that when this farmer approached him he could see the uh, the scars on his back. The scars were from um, being in a prisoner of war camp during the Second World War and the torture he endured. And so now, nine or ten year old Eric Varden hears this uh, story being recounted, recounted by his father one evening. And this is how he reflects on it now. I felt a need to trace the meaning of those scars to decipher what they stood for. This boy, he writes, acquired a sense of the seriousness of existence. I saw that to live, one must learn to look death in the eye. I knew, even as a boy, that to become a man is to assume a great burden, that this load must be borne with strength from within. Now, Eric um, had no faith context uh, whatsoever. He, uh, I love his definition of agnostic here. He says, a term that spelled independence of mind without demanding much by way of assertion. At any rate, uh, later in his life, still, still a young boy, he was only about 16 years old, he uh, hears the second symphony of um, of Gustav uh, Mahler and uh, he is so moved by the beauty of the music that something in him comes alive. He writes, with a certainty born neither of overwrought emo emotion nor of cool analysis, I knew I carried something within me that reached beyond the limits of time. He wrote, it is true to say, I had remembered. And so this is the context for uh, Bishop Eric Varden reflecting on Christian remembrance. He writes, the pain I felt in what I had not learned, uh, the pain I felt in what I had not learned to think of as my soul was mine, yet it sprang from sources preceding and exceeding my experience. I was alert to a palpable communion with mankind. I had discovered um, an environment, he said, of the Catholic Church that embraced my contradictions without compromising truth. Um, his idea of remembrance is, of course, bringing forward, representing -pre -pre uh, something that uh, that we participate in by clinging to the truth of your identity, the truth of the of the Christian narrative. He, he writes, "It permitted me to read my banal, sometimes squalid life into a narrative of redemption that not only reaches back to time's beginning, but remembers forward." into eternity. Isn't that beautiful? He, uh, he writes, 
in a society orphaned of transcendence, utilitarianism seems to many the only route to take. Humankind is brought down from its pedestal. Contemporary secular anthropology shows a dogged resolve to prove that man is nothing special. By the promotion of species equality, its sages may simultaneously fight for the welfare of chimps in a zoo and canvas to, elim to eliminate uh, trisomic children. It's, um, it's a beautiful understanding, again, of uh, Christian anthropology, which forces us to confront uh, truth and the grace of humility. I could go on and on about this marvelous little book, but I will, um, I'll, I'll just, one more little quote. I've got a few worked here on the Eucharist. He writes, um, in the liturgy, we come as close as we can get to seeing as God sees. To be worthy is not to be blameless. He speaks of the Eucharist here. To be worthy is not to be blameless. The Eucharist is not a prize for good behavior. To be worthy is to assent to the realization of Christ's example in my life, to commit to the newness of it. The Lord does not seek instant perfection, but he requires coherence in the way we live. To act otherwise is to forget purposely. It is not an act of memory of Christ. Um, beautiful stuff. We must be consumed by the Eucharist, by the saving reality that it represents. So um, I hope I've stirred your interest in this, uh, in this little book. I cannot recommend it uh, too highly. And I thought, you know, since I'm speaking about this book, uh, the, the next book on my reading list, if you're interested, is uh, The Story of a Soul by uh, St. Therese of Lisieux, and uh, one on a very practical level that you'll probably hear me talking about around the parish is Intentional Accompaniment by uh, Michael Hall, an, ap an apprenticeship for a new generation of builders. So uh, these are my next two, if you're interested in joining in the conversation. But um, for now, I highly recommend Bishop Eric Varden's The Shattering of Loneliness, a beautiful reflection on Christian remembrance. God bless you. Take care.